I've had a request to do the back teeth in metal. What I'm going to plan to do is I'm going to have an eye bar come across here and we're going to come all the way across here and over the top of maybe we'll do both of these in in metal so we're going to come across here after I have created the mask we're going to start smoothing so this is important so that everything is protected now I want to be able to make a design but we need to have it come through nice and gentle now what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth this area where I'm going to come with my designing tool like a flattish, flattish area. So we're going to come across here to get a good cut. Like then I'm going to place my cursor. Actually I'm going to just smooth this little piece down a little bit. Remove the mask like that. So shift right click to place my cursor, draw my design. Here what I want to do is I want to come up at an angle sort of almost 45 degrees And here I want to do the same thing. Fuse the line. And we just want to shift this so that we have a good smooth transition. Like that. Make a basic design. Rotate your scene a little bit like that so that we're going to extrude into your teeth and then we're going to extrude the design from the top view and here we need to note that if we go too far we're going to cut off the big section make it longer like that cut the design now bring it down. All right, we're going to take this cutter and move it down a little bit because I can see where the hole of the screw hole is. Then I'm going to angle it a little bit. Especially because I'm worried about these bits sticking out. I'm going to go at the top. I'm going to move that back just a little bit. So this is almost okay. Of course we can't go too much undercut over here. And now we've still got a problem because this specific one is very uncut. You can see the front section compared to this section. I'm going to X delete that. Expose your tubes, select it, edit tube, and we're going to change this tube just a little bit. We've got a lot of space here. So here, G key, and I'm going to move this out a little bit this way. Something to that effect, just to get that more or less, less um, undercut. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make a new cone, like that. So this is looking way better already. Okay, so we can still scale this away a little bit later. From here, we're going to remesh this into our cutter. Great. There's a few spots. Edit cutter. Over here, use the G key, proportional editing on, and move it inwards. Likewise,
let us click on the heat map. This is a new button by the way. Gives us a good indication where it's touching the hybrid. I'm going to push that down. Push. And we're going to click on that again and we're going to push it one more time. That gives me 1.5 millimeters of space. Same here. We're going to push that down. Now here, over here, we can see it's touching. But we don't want to bring this in too far because of our multi-unit underneath. Over here, same thing. We don't want to push it in because we're going to create an undercut. I'm going to select this and push that down. Like that. Object mode. Smooth. Right click. Radius up. I'm going to put the Dynotopo to about 4, which is a little bit rougher and more aggressive. Strength, more aggressive. Click on Add Safety Zone. We need to fill in over here, over here, and a few places over here. Accept that. It's 0 0.7 and correct the thickness. It was actually 1.4, which is double that, so it's 0 0.7 thickness. So it is visible where it's filled in. I'm going to adjust my cement space and we're going to separate the hybrid. This is what the end result looks like. So the pink could be uh, metal, you can anodize it or whatever, polish it up. Let's have a look on the inside of it. So this is a funky looking eye bar. Bit more complex. I will add this to the video tutorial list in the in the iBar group, so that if anyone wants to refer to this video at some other stage, then please do so. You need to click update on the module because there's a few little script changes to make this work. Okay, bye. Further, the cantilever may be a little bit long. Um, please, no criticism there. This video is purely a demonstration, it's not a patient case. Okay, bye.